video from Maths World Education and in today's video I want to actually show you uh, how to complete the square okay and it's uh, it's on the curriculum for your GCSEs so you may get a question uh, like this where it says uh, solve for y equals 0 y equals x squared minus 2x minus 5 now, um, you may say solve that for solve this for y equals zero. Okay, so you just got to imagine the left hand left hand side here is zero. Solve for x. How? What would you do? Well. What you'd have is um, one way of doing it, one method, which I'm sure you're aware of, is using the, the quadratic equation. So you'd solve for x, you could say, well, x equals minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a, such that in this case, a would be equal to a is the coefficient of the x squared term, b is the coefficient of uh, the x term and c is equal to your constants, which would be minus five. Now, very often you may have a you may have a, an equation which is a bit more complicated than this, uh, which is a quadratic, and, uh, and it can be it, there can be an, a lot of number crunching involved by using by using this uh, method here. So, another method is actually by completing the square. Now, what is completing the square? Well, I'm about to show you now. So, what we can do, we can we can rewrite this. And what you always want to do, you always want to you always want to take half of value here of b. So, you always want to take half of the value of two. So, in this case, half the well, half the value of minus two in this case is going to be minus one. So we put a minus one, and then we do that. Now, if you imagine that you're multiplying out the brackets here, this repeated root, you've got an x squared. Well, you've got an x squared there, that's fine. You end up with a minus 2x, because, you, because it's minus x minus x is minus 2, which is, which is where your minus 2 is from. But then you're also going to have a plus 1 as well here, aren't you? You're going to have a plus 1. So what you want to do, you want to... Always subtract the thing, uh, the end that multiplies out. Okay, and then of course you've got the minus five, which was here because the minus five was on the left hand side. So now what you end up with is x minus one, all squared minus one minus five is minus six. Now all of a sudden you've got something which is much easier to uh, to solve here. Okay. So if you need to solve uh, 0 equals x minus 1 all squared minus 6, all of a sudden you haven't got to use this complicated quadratic uh, formula. So we can, we can disregard this method. And instead, we've got a, a much easier uh, equation for x, uh, which we can solve. So if you imagine... Uh, you got the minus six, so if you imagine adding six to both sides, that means six is going to equal x minus one all squared. And now if we if we take the square root of uh, this thing that we've got in brackets, we can see that the and it's always plus minus the square root of six equals x minus one. The reason why you got a plus minus because a minus number times itself will still give you uh still give you a positive uh, number okay and then if we add one to both sides here we can see that uh, one plus or minus square root of six equals x now we've got two solutions for x here now if you were to use this uh, if you were to use this method here you would still you would still get to the same result. There's no doubt about it. You would still end up getting one plus or minus square root of six. But it's another it's another tool in your toolbox. Okay, um, very often 
time might be running out in an exam and you haven't got time to do all this number crunching whereas if you're completing a square it's just it's so much easier to um to solve for x so i hope you find um hope you find this video helpful uh, if you um if you've got any questions be sure to comment uh, below in the uh, in the comment section i will do my best to uh, get back as soon as possible so uh, if you like this video smash that like button subscribe and tap that notification bell i will be coming out with more videos in mass world education this is one of the best uh, online resources uh, that you could be using at the moment so I'm, I'm available to help help you guys uh, for um for your exams or any tests anything like that give me a shout uh, anything I can do with this video as well, anything I can do to improve, just let me know. Uh, any any topics uh, that you'd like me to uh, to talk about which you can't find anywhere else, drop me a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to um, try and accommodate that. Okay, thank you very much and see you in the next video.